Welcome back. Another wonderful day of Fusion 360. Today, we are going to learn about the tool that you should not use. You really should not use this tool. Uh, all so far, these are great tools, bridging the least amount, depending if you do it right. But the freeze, not subdivide. I'm going to skip that. The freeze. The freeze tool is terrible. Absolutely terrible. It should only be used in absolute circumstances when you are stuck. And that's a freezing joke. I can hear the laughter from miles away. So freezing is very simply, it stops a panel or an edge or a point from moving or being stretched or pulled or anything at all. It stops it entirely. It freezes it where it is, which means everything else has to compensate. And what, are, what do I mean by compensate is watch this. If I want this panel to freeze and I select freeze, actually, let's make this one just to be really clear about it. This one, if I don't want to move this one anymore, I freeze it. Well, all of a sudden, this turns white, the edge, but these ones are a light blue. Now, why is that? Because it needs a zone of play area, a, um, a buffer, you can call it. This buffer keeps this one from moving because if you, re you remember from the very second video of this series where I transformed, if I take this and I stretch it out, it's going to pull these two and these ones all adjacent parts. They're all being stretched with it. Not as much. They're averaging, but they're being stretched with it. Now, if I take this and I hit the edit form, nothing happens. Take this, nothing happens. So freezing you have to actually add a buffer and expect a buffer too, which means if I unfreeze and I add, let's say I add an edge from here to here, here to here. Now I have a bit more of a buffer. So it's not all the way out here, but it's down here. So you have to keep adding edges until you get the smallest buffer you can. So this is why freezing really sucks. Uh, I've never been able to figure out how to use it myself in a really professional way where it helps me a lot. If you understand how sculpting works, you do really don't need it, to be honest. Uh, I can see a few instances where you do need it. And yes, I have used it in the past, but only when I absolutely have to. But then I have to compensate for it by adjusting my model in some other way. Because I might want these to actually be workable. Now, here's a big, big hint. If you want this to stay where it is, select it, add a crease. It's not as pretty. It's not as nice looking. You can make the crease straighter, the edges. But what happens is with the crease is that if I move these things, the crease, look at that crease, the crease acts like a freeze. It's much better because you get the exact panel until fusion changes it. So the freeze actually works on only this panel. My guess is if they do that, they would basically just create a crease that doesn't round the edges there. That's it. Make a crease. Honestly, avoid freezing, make a crease and you will have less headaches for the rest of your fusion days. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.